Hi guys, welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the Canary and Dev channels in the Windows Insider program. In this video, we're talking about the build 26100. This is the build that Microsoft is planning to release as RTM, basically the release for the manufacturers so that they can have the 24H2 version platform earlier. And this way, they can test out their devices on the latest Windows 11 version, which is 24H2. So in this video, as always, we're going to talk about what is new, what has changed, and also what is fixed in this latest latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the Canary and Dev channels. If you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. First of all, you will notice that the watermark in the right side is still not present in this build. It will be present in future builds and also, and also if you go into settings and then Windows Update and then Windows Insider Program, you're going to notice that you can still switch between the Canary and Dev channels. So you can still do that, but not for a long time. So make sure you decide whether you want to stay on the dev or on the canary channel before microsoft locks the builds again in this build the only thing that we can notice was discovered by phantom machine 3 that we have a slight change with a transparent background inside the oob setup when you log in for the first time in this build so you can see a screenshot of that so thank you to phantom machine 3 for discovering this other than that we only have fixes in this build so for example some general fixes microsoft made another fix to address the issue causing shutdown and hibernate to not work in the latest builds fixed an issue resulting in some insiders seeing errors here x8024067 when trying to download app updates from Microsoft Store or Windows updates and settings in the latest builds. Related to Windows Copilot with the updated Copilot in Windows experience that introduces the ability for Copilot to act like a normal application window, Microsoft fixed the issue that prevented the ability to bring focus to the dot dot button or refresh buttons within Copilot when using a keyboard, for example by using tab to cycle through buttons. Related to windowing, Microsoft fixed the DWM crash impacting some insiders in the latest flights. This could result in you seeing your screen flash black. And we also have a known issue. Microsoft is investigating reports that some Windows insiders in the Canary and Dev channels are stuck on the build 26040 or build 23620. The investigation is ongoing. However, if you're impacted by this and really want to get onto the latest build in the Canary or Dev channels today, you can get the latest ISOs from the Microsoft website if you want to do that. So overall, this is the build. As I've said, this is the build that Microsoft is planning to release as RTM, basically the platform for the manufacturers. And until until the end of the year, Microsoft is going to test out new features and of course we're going to have Windows 11 24H2 on our computers maybe in September or October. So if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase, until next time, have a nice day.